Check out these 10 natural phenomena that science can explain. Mammatus clouds, which means mammary cloud, is a cellular pattern of pouches hanging underneath the base of a cloud. These are typically heavy cumulonimbus rain clouds. Mammatus are most often associated with severe weather and they can appear before or after a storm. They can indicate a strong storm and storms that cause tornadoes. They are usually composed of ice, but nobody knows exactly how mammatus clouds are formed. Scientists have been studying the formation of these clouds, but still have no idea why they form in the shape they do. Heat Anomaly Found in Great Pyramid of Giza Scientists have been studying the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and have found strange heat signatures that have no explanation. Thermal scanning of the monuments has found that some of the limestone blocks were hotter than others. The heat anomaly was discovered on the eastern side of the Khufu Pyramid at ground level. However, no explanation is provided for the heat anomalies, which could possibly imply the presence of a hidden chamber inside Khufu's pyramid. Only time will tell what is causing this, that is, if someone dares enter the chamber. Oakville Blobs on August 7, 1994, during a rainstorm, blobs of a translucent gelatinous substance fell in the town of Oakville, Washington. Several attempts were made to identify the blobs. Then, doctors found something startling. The blobs contained human white blood cells. Several theories cropped up at the time to explain the appearance of the blobs, though none have been proven. One of the most popular theories was the so-called jellyfish theory which stated that the blobs could be the result of swarms of jellyfish being blown to bits by ocean bombing runs, which were then dispersed into a rain cloud. The weird thing is that several residents of Oakville became violently ill after the unusual rainstorm, and a large number of cats and dogs who came in direct contact with the substance became ill and died. Lake Hillier, Australia Australia is the home of the unusual pink lakes. Lake Hillier is one of them. Located on Middle Island, this body of water is famous for its remarkable bubblegum pink color. 600 meters long and surrounded by a rim of sand and thick woods of eucalyptus trees, this pink lake still surprises and intrigues scientists. The vibrant color is permanent and does not change when the water is taken in a container. No one really knows for sure why the lake is pink. Researchers can only speculate that a dye created by bacteria that lives in the salt crusts is responsible for the beautiful color. Whatever the cause, the water does not appear to pose any danger to humans. Socotra Island, Yemen Want to feel like you're visiting another planet? Check out Socotra Island off the coast of Yemen. It has been called the most alien-looking place on Earth, and a lost world because the heat and drought conditions of the island have produced around 800 rare species of flora and fauna, and a third of those can't be seen anywhere else on the planet. One of the most striking of Socotra's plants is the Dragon's Blood Tree, which is a strange-looking umbrella-shaped tree. The trees and plants on the island have evolved to suit its hostile climate, and some varieties of plant are a staggering 20 million years old. Kelamutu, Indonesia Mount Kelamutu is a volcano in Flores, Indonesia. The mountain has three volcanic crater lakes that vary colors from each other at different times, making them surreal and exciting to be discovered. These lakes change color dramatically and unpredictably from blue or green to red or black, making it one of the natural phenomena to be beheld by many. People believe that particular minerals in the water may interact with volcanic gas to create the mercurial shades, but it's hard to know for sure. Scientists have been unable to explain how the volcanic crater lakes change their colors. Brain injury turns man into math genius. After being brutally attacked in 2002, Jason Paget now sees the world through a geometric lens. His devastating injury seems to have unlocked part of his brain that makes everything in his world appear to have a mathematical structure. Other people have developed remarkable music or artistic abilities, but few people have acquired mathematical faculties like Paget's. Paget is one of only 40 people in the world with acquired savant syndrome. The findings suggest such skills may lie dormant in all human brains. The truth is, we know very little about our own brains. Stonehenge For centuries, historians and archaeologists have puzzled over Stonehenge which took Neolithic builders around 1,500 years to build. Located in southern England, it is comprised of roughly 100 massive upright stones placed in a circular layout. 
Archaeologists believe that the prehistoric ruin was built in several stages, with the earliest construction 5,000 or more years ago. Research shows that the site has continuously evolved over a period of about 10,000 years. The biggest of Stonehenge's stones are up to 30 feet or 9 meters tall and weigh 25 tons, about 22.6 metric tons on average. It is believed that they were brought from a distance of 20 miles or 32 kilometers to the north. It's unknown how these builders moved the stones that far without the help of modern technology. There is also a lot of theories about the purpose of Stonehenge. One of them suggests that the cluster of megalithic stones is an astronomical calendar, but no one knows for sure. Animal Rain Phenomenon The origins of this bizarre animal rain phenomenon have evolved throughout history. The first reported phenomenon occurred in the first century AD when Roman naturalist Pliny the Elder documented fish and frogs raining from the sky. One of the most well-known examples of this rain phenomenon took place in Louisiana in 1947 when fish started to rain from the sky, averaging one fish per square yard. This frightening rain phenomenon also has extended to even more alarming creatures raining from the sky, such as worms and snakes. No one knows for sure how the clouds become filled with small animals which end up raining down in different parts of the world. Some suggest that sudden gusts of winds, tornadoes, and water spouts suck these animals into the air. That sounds a little far-fetched, and really, no one knows why this happens. Singi de Bemaraha, Madagascar the Singi de Bemaraha is a national park located in the Melaki region, northwest Madagascar. The site is unique with its biodiversity and exceptional landscape called the Singi, which can be translated into, where one cannot walk barefoot. It's a strange name, but the reason it's called this is because the Singi appear as crevasses and surfaces of limestone blocks carved in blades or sharp needles. These limestone rocks formed by a deposit of fossils and shells under the sea 200 million years ago, and it's thought that rain or groundwater cut the sharp rocks into their shape. But no one knows for sure, as there is no other place like this on Earth. <laughs>